City of Lawrence on this the eighth day of March 2022. We do have a quorum with three members present in person and one uh, remote. So uh, we have one member missing. Uh, first order of business would be the approval of the minutes in the regular meeting February 22. 2022. Mr. Chairman, the motion we approve those minutes. Mr. Chairman, Dave Parnell, I make the motion. Been moved. Is there a second? I see believe a second. Been moved and seconded. <clears throat> Any additions or corrections to the minutes? If not, we will vote. Dave. Aye. Tracy. Aye. Zach. Aye. I will abstain since I was not present at that meeting. Uh, payment of claims. The claims were sent out to all the members for their review by uh, email. I would entertain a motion that we approve the payment of the claims. Tracy Boyd will make the motion. Tracy, is there a second? Dave Parnell, I'll second. And moved and seconded. Any discussion regarding the claims? If not, we will vote. Uh, Dave. Aye. Tracy. Aye. Zach. Aye. I vote aye as well. So that is approved. Uh, report of our utility superintendent, Scott. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Um, so I'd like to, to start out with uh, we are uh, going to be uh, recommending that the board approve the awarding of the Fall Creek Water Main Replacement Project to Miller Pipeline in the amount of $422,500. Uh, the bids, uh, three bids that we received were open and read aloud at our meeting on the 25th at 1.30 p.m. here. Um, uh, the engineer's estimate for the project was uh, $476,600. Um, so uh, the engineer, uh, Wessler and Lois, is, is actually here. So they, he reviewed the three bid packages and provided a certified bid tab and recommendation letter, which was included in your packets. And so we, we are going to recommend approval of that project to Miller Pipeline. Um, the, the resolution I have regarding uh, the sanitary sewer elevations, I, I, I want to go ahead and, and either pull that or I table it. I don't know what the proper action is, because I, I do have one more conversation I want to have before I present that. Um, and so we, we will not need to deal with that this evening. Then the, the other big item is we are uh, uh, also looking to approve uh, change order four on the Brook, Brookhaven waterline repa replacement project. So phase one of that project was completed. And so this is the, the last and final change order and, and pay app. Uh, the actual pay app will be paid at the next meeting, but the change order has to be done first. And this is a final reckoning of all the uh, quantities on the project, uh, which is actually complete. All the punch list items are complete. And so this actually reduces the cost of the project by uh, uh, $284,109 and some change there. So at any rate, we are certainly going to uh, recommend approval of that. Uh, change order number four, and then, um, of course, the uh, the final payout, the payout of retainage will be done at the next uh, meeting on the claims list. We also have tonight, uh, we're go going to be opening the, the two bids we received for the 7750 Oakland and Road property. And other than that, uh, we're just forging ahead on all fronts on all our projects. And Adjustments? Oh, yes, I do want to mention we, we do have four adjustments on the, uh, on the agenda tonight. Uh, for 4925 Chip Shot Lane, 7430 48th Street, 4903 Kitley, and 10843 Tanbark Drive, all those were investigated by the billing office staff, and they do recommend approval on all four of those. Mr. Chairman. Yes, sir. Scott, did we only get two bids on that property? That's all we got? Yes. Yes, two. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Any, any other questions? Scott. Well, if, if not, the next order of business on our agenda is the opening of the bids. Uh, so. 
And you can you can just open them. Um, there's nothing really specific in this statute about how you're supposed to do it. So just it says open to public inspection. So you can just open them, read them, and then um, okay. recommend to the board that it, they be taken under review to make sure they comply with the statute. Right. Okay, so the the first bid for seventy seven fifty Oakland and Road is from the Madison Reserve slash Indiana Honeybee Coalition and their bid is sixty five thousand dollars. And then of course they have uh some, some language in here about who they are, what their plans are, and stuff like that. So, um, so we'll submit that. And then our next bid is from Mr. and Mrs. Palin. $61,000 or $500 higher than the highest bid up to a maximum bid of $90,510 for the above reference property. So as Caitlin uh, mentioned, uh, per uh, uh, her instructions, we're going to turn these over to Caitlin and she'll review them for uh, conformance to the statutes and whatnot. And then we will come back to the board at the next meeting with a recommendation uh, of who we award this to and uh, then conclude the sale with a purchase agreement. Correct. Yep. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. We'll be taking care of that for us. Thank you very much. And Thank you. Appreciate uh, receiving those bids. Next order of business under our agenda is unfinished business, which we do not have any. Under new business, uh, the first order, uh, the first item was the approval of Re resolution number one, 2022, amending section 5121. Now, this one, Steve, we're going to pull. That's one you're yeah. taking off, yeah. right? So that will reappear at a later meeting. And you could. You as the chair can just say that you're tabling it or removing it, either one. Scott, do you think he should remove it or table it? I think just table it. I'll, I'll be ready at the next meeting. And that's up to your discretion, so you can just say it's tabled and we'll move on. Yep. Okay, so we, we're going to table uh, that item uh, until our next meeting. All members consent to that? That's fine. Okay. Uh, item number two under new business is approval of resolution number two, 2022, establishing a written policy by which members of the City of Lawrence Utility Service Board may participate in meetings by electronic means of communication. I would uh, entertain a motion that we approve that. Then we can have our discussion. I so moved. Report out. Okay. Is there a second? We will second. Been moved and seconded. Now, in regards to discussion, Caitlin, if you would explain this to us. And okay. Um, so early this month, the state emergency declaration. Uh, disaster declaration expired and so that's what's been um, letting zoom meetings really occur as they have been uh, for the past about two years so um, during the emergency the legislature adopted a different statute that would govern um, when that declaration was lifted and that's under a different section it does say that all governing bodies that would be your councils your board of works you, you all 
um, you have to adopt the written policy establishing procedures um, to apply to people's participation in meetings by electronic means of communication. So this is just a little more strict than how things were. Um, so basically, the one you have in front of you really just adopts wholesale the statute. Um, it does say that you can establish procedures that are more restrictive than these if you would like to, but what I have drafted for you just truly copies the statute. Um, it basically says if anyone's participating electronically, you still need to do a roll call vote, at least 50%, um, so at least three of you guys have to be here in person at a meeting. Um, someone may not attend more than 50% of the meetings per year electronically. I mean, there's exceptions there for military service, illness, death in the family, things like that. Um, you can't participate electronically and vote on a budget or personnel reduction or increasing establishing fees. So you can read more in depth line by line, but those are some of the important parameters. And so if, if you all like, I can amend it to make it more restrictive, but this just really adopts what the legislature, um, the basics of what they wanted, how they wanted uh, Zoom meetings to be going forward. Okay, anybody have any uh, questions uh, at this time regarding the, uh, this procedure? And, uh, uh, you know, I, th I think it's nice having the ability uh, for uh, members to stay engaged they can't be here in person. But this does change things from the standpoint, like tonight, we have to have at least three people here in person. Uh, and uh, it, it does reduce the number of times that you could uh, attend remotely. Yes. Yeah, you're, you'll, you can do no more than two meetings consecutively, electronically, and then that third meeting, you have to be in person. Unless it's the, the illness or right. death in the fed, things like that. There's those exceptions. But generally, yes, it's blocks of two, and then you need to come in for the third one. And that just copies the state statute as well. Mr. Chairman, would the agenda state that this meeting requires 50% or more? the agenda reflect that everybody knows hey we need to be here in person for this meeting um, so you're, you're talking about like in, in the future when we send out the notice if, if we pass this tonight will our agenda our agenda can it reflect this is a mandatory meeting yeah, i think it, i think we'll have to We'll have to put down there whether it's one of those actions that requires 50% at least to be here physically. I think we'll have to make note of that on the agenda. I do too. I mean, yeah. we don't want to have this happen again. I mean, right, right. Well, nobody knew, so. Yeah. But, but as I understood what you were saying, Caitlin, if it's a budget meeting, so everyone has to be present. That way. They can't. So to have a meeting that people participate electronically, there still has to be 50% of the members physically here, just in general. But regarding the budget, so typically if we're taking a vote, someone that's participating electronically can vote, but not on a budget or reducing personnel or establishing fees. So it would probably still be okay, they just couldn't vote on it. Um, and then I'd have to look into the specific thing and how many people are needed for that specific action. But it just it's just certain items you can't vote on. So everything we're doing here today, I mean, Zach can vote, so. But, but uh, we, we would have to be more concerned about everybody being present or having an excused absence, I guess, if it's a budget or rate issue. That's correct, so that you could get everyone's participation and you can't participate any other way those times. That's correct. Mr. Chairman, could I make a motion to amend this to reflect a, a warning on the agenda? Um, 
Well, I, I think we can just do that as a matter of policy, right? Yes, I, I think if you all agree to it, then that's just something you could implement that wouldn't need to be in the resolution. If you want it to be in the resolution, I'm happy to amend it. But that's also something you all could just agree to that you could implement and I'm, say as a policy going, going forward. As long as it's on there, just heads up, guys, we need people here. Well, and we, and we just make that a, 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 a policy moving forward, which we, we can actually even put in writing, and Tina can do that. And... Uh, so that you know, future board secretaries will be aware of that requirement as well. But I, I don't know that we necessarily need to amend this resolution okay, when we can just do it as a matter of policy. Okay, anything further? Well, if not, we will vote. Uh, Dave. Aye. Tracy. Aye. Zach. And I vote aye as well, so that is approved. Next order of business would be approval of change order number four from SC Case Excavating LLC to reduce the amount of the Brookhaven Waterline Replacement Project by $284,109.52. $0.52. I would entertain a motion that we approve that. I move Tracy Boyd. I'll second Dave Parnell. <clears throat> Been moved and seconded. Any discussion regarding that item? If not, we will vote. Uh, Dave. Aye. Tracy. Aye. Zach. Aye. I vote aye as well, so that is approved. Item number four is the acceptance of the bid for and notice of award for the Fall Creek Water Main Replacement Project. That's with Miller Pipeline. And yes, we're recommending that we award this project to Miller Pipeline in the amount of four hundred twenty-two thousand one hundred and five dollars. Uh, entertain a motion that we approve that. Mr. Chairman, Dave Parnell, so moved. Been moved. Is there a second? I see. Boy, was second. Been moved and seconded. Any discussion regarding that item? If not, we will vote. Uh, Dave. Aye. Tracy. Aye. Zach. Aye. We vote aye as well. That is approved. Our next order of business would be account adjustments. Uh, the first one is approval of a sanitary sewer adjustment at 4925 Chip Shot Lane for $335.31 due to a broken spigot. Entertain a motion that we approve that. Mr. Chairman, Dave Parnell, so moved. Is there a trip, uh, second? I see Boyd second. We moved and seconded. Any discussion? If not, we will vote. Dave. Aye. Tracy. Aye. Back. Aye. I vote aye as well. That is approved. Second item is approval of a sanitary sewer adjustment at 7430 East 49th Street for $690.26 due to a service line leak in the wall. Entertain a motion that we approve that. Dave Parnell, so moved. Been moved. Is there a second? Tracy Boyd was second. Been moved and seconded. Any discussion? If not, we will vote. Dave. Aye. Tracy. Aye. Zach. Aye. I vote aye as well. The third item is the approval of a sanitary sewer adjustment at 4903 North Kitley Avenue for $648.43 due to a service line leak. Entertain a motion that we approve that. Mr. Chairman, Dave Parnell, so moved. And a second? Tracy Boyd. We moved and seconded. Any discussion? If not, we'll vote Dave. Aye. Tracy? Aye. Zach? Aye. I vote aye as well. The final uh, item is approval of a sanitary sewer adjustment at 10843 Tanbark Drive for 
due to a slab leak. Entertain a motion that we approve that. Mr. Chairman, Dave Parnell, so moved. Second. Mr. Boy will second. They moved and seconded. Any discussion? If not, we will vote Dave. Aye. Tracy. Aye. Yeah. Aye. I vote aye as well. We do not, I don't believe we have any remonstration or repair dispute regarding disconnect notice or citizens' comments this evening. May I entertain a motion we adjourn. Hey, Parnell, so moved. Happy boy, second. It moved and seconded. We will vote. Dave. Aye. Tracy. Aye. Zach. Aye. I vote aye as well. Thank you all for coming. Thank you. We are adjourned. Thank you.